once again. So, May 31st, in the NBA Finals, you will have the Dallas Mavericks going against the Miami Heat in a rematch from the 2006 NBA Finals. It starts 31st. May 31st. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be on. It's going to be on because, you know, I think this is a matchup that everybody has been waiting for. I think pretty much ever since the Heat and the and the Mavericks made it to the conference finals, everybody has been waiting to see that. And I, I had to agree. To me, I actually did want to see Miami and Dallas face each other. Why? Because it was, it was you know, I just want to see a rematch between these two teams. These are two different teams, so I, I know I say it's a rematch, but still, these are still two different teams. The only t players that are still there from 2006 is Udasis Hanslam, Hanslam, and um, and who else? And Dwayne Wade. Oh yeah, and don't forget about the Dallas Mavericks, Jason Terry and Dirk Nowitzki, and pretty much everybody is, is saying, well, Dirk Nowitzki and Jason Terry, they want that ring. It's calling for them. It's calling for them. LeBron James, it's calling for him. It's calling for him. Jason Terry, it's calling for him. It's definitely calling for him, especially when you lose in the NBA Finals twice in a row. Twice in a row. row okay? <laughs> it's calling for him. It's, it's calling for all of them. And for the Heat and the Mavericks, they... If you guys didn't know, both of them has the best road record in the lead, in the lead, in this this year's lead. They have the best road record right now, and that's impressive that you had the best road record. For the Heat, they are undefeated at home. No one has defeated them in the playoffs yet at home. And for the Ma Mavericks, well... <laughs> Well, they have lost home, but still, who can mess with them in, on the road? Once they get into the road, come on, you know the Mavericks are going to dominate. And they have dominated on the road. Now, I would agree. I would agree. The Heat has dominated too, but they always lose one game. And that's the thing. And that's the thing. The Heat has only lost one game every single series they have been in. And for the Dallas Mavericks, first series, it was two. Second series, it was none. And last one, it was one. So both of these teams, they have only lost three games in the playoffs. Both of these teams. One team is going to fail, one team is going to succeed. And to me, and to me, the way how I see this, I see the Dallas Mavericks winning this in game six or game seven this matchup this this series is going to be really tight i don't think it's going to be it's going to be a, a series where the heat dominates the the mavericks or the mavericks dominate the heat you know I, i'll be honest on that i'll tell you it's not going to be like 2006 i'll i'll tell you that it's not going to be like that but um it's calling for them so we'll see how things go all right oh yeah just let everybody know I don't care what Scotty Pippen said. LeBron James would never, ever be better than Michael Jordan, okay? Let's just get that out of the way right now. He would never be the greatest player to ever play the game of baseball, okay? Basketball, okay? So let's crush that, all right? So that's what y'all guys say. Dallas, Miami, who you guys think is going to win the NBA Finals? Let's see what happens, all right? Look at me in the eye. All right, make sure you contact me on Facebook, MySpace, and Twitter. Will LeBron James ever win one? Well, not just, but is this really his time? Because I know Cleveland, they want Mavericks to win so badly. Because they have said they are Mavericks fans now. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Dirk, Jason, Jason, Kid, <laughs> James, Bosch, Wade. What's going to happen? Cool J's out. NBA playoffs is coming up next week. Deuces.